Hello, I'm Jim Webb, and I'm here with my BCIS 1305 class, and I hope things are going well. By now, we've been gone for two weeks. Um, a lot of stuff's happened. Uh, we have all kinds of uh, restrictions on where we can go, what we can do, uh, social distancing, which is strange. Oh, I'm touching my face. I'm going to burn in hell for that one. Anyway, I hope this message finds you, all of you well and in good health and your families in good health. What we've got left for the class is reading. We'll still have the concepts with the uh, concepts test. That hasn't changed, and it, it should be simple. In addition, we have our PowerPoint um, presentations. What you're going to be doing is continue working on them, submitting them to me as a group. Um, it works well over the Internet, so that should not be a problem. Then we'll have our cons uh, lab test, and those were going to have to make sure that we've got all the equipment set in place for it. I've got a list of requirements for the test, and we've got one for um, Excel, and then we'll have one for Access. Actually, the Excel test, you guys lucked out. Since uh, we're doing it uh, remotely, it won't be as intense as usual, but I hope that you take this opportunity to really brush up on your skills. Anyway, more on that soon. But what I need you to do is get your um, PowerPoint presentations together, submitted to me. Then we'll do our evaluations of each other. If you've got somebody that's gone null and void, don't be too hard on them initially. Let's reach out and make sure we can contact everybody. Then what I need all my students to do is to tell me what kind of system they have at home, whether or not you have Microsoft Office, so that we can do the testing. If you do not have it, we're going to have to do some kind of alternative testing We'll, we'll find a way around it. Um, there's always a way. If you find yourself in a situation where it looks like the world's gone to hell, what you do is you plant your feet, you look around, you make the best decision possible, and you go from there. You guys have all done this before. If you haven't, you are now. Your mother and father did it. Your grandfather did it. Your great-grandfather did it. When I look back at all the stuff that my uh, family went through, from crossing the ocean to fighting a war. That was the Revolutionary War. Uh, the Civil War, uh, we lost. <laughs> Good to the uh, World War I with Grandpa, World War II with my Uncle Junior, Korea with my dad. My grandfather was buried seven times in coal mines. He pulled himself out and was able to produce a family. My father had part of his brain cut out to cure his epilepsy. It was experimental, and I cannot imagine doing that. He survived it. I've survived numerous things, and you guys have your own stories. I have vets, I have athletes, I have mothers, I have daughters, sisters. It's going to be great. Okay. So what we need to do is really focus and get this done. I want you to do well in this class, because come hell or high water, this will end, and we've still got to be able to use these uh, tools to get a job in business. So I will continue to update you. And I can't wait to see you what you produce. Look for updates. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.